It is Monday and I am currently in the process of clearing out my closet. I'm also sweating right now. I actually opened up my windows. I usually always have all of the windows in our house closed. If you ever come over, it's like a dungeon in here because we're trying to keep the heat out. Anyways, I decided that I really needed to go through my stuff and get rid of anything that I have not worn in years. I have some stuff in my closet, actually, honestly, truly, still from high school. That's kind of embarrassing. I was talking with my friend the other night and we were saying how sometimes we wish we could just get rid of everything in our closet and start new and I kind of feel like that because I don't wear any of the stuff that I have and because I have so much stuff I don't allow myself to buy new things so it's very rare recently that I buy or purchase anything at the thrift store other than a handbag because I feel like I don't have a lot of handbags anymore. This was all full and I'm going back through again and deciding what I don't want. This I actually picked up at Zara a few seasons ago. I think you can kind of see that there's makeup on it and I bought it in hopes that I could get the makeup out and it never came out so I never buy anything with makeup. This I've worn once and I just feel like I never know that it's here because I have so much stuff. This I like but it's hard because I don't have the proper um, bra or like undergarments to go underneath it. This is probably the only sweatshirt that I own, honestly that's a knit sweater because it's so hot here I don't ever need any and these are the few black pieces that I've decided to hold on to I don't usually buy anything black because I never wear it one of my favorite things to buy at the thrift store obviously is denim so uh yes clearly I have a problem it's too hot to wear most of this denim right now this is probably my favorite dress and it's from savers I wear this on any occasion when I want to be fancy and then the only thing that I don't ever get rid of or have a really hard time getting rid of is outerwear which is not really necessary here in Arizona and this is a piece that I wear a lot it's a little puffer vest that I got for a dollar in LA which is pretty funny so it is around 2 30 in the afternoon i just got home from wally world and i thought i would do a quick haul i had to go and pick up a prescription but i also just picked up some other stuff that i needed first persil this is my favorite laundry detergent ever and i had a two dollar off coupon actually funny story one of my co-workers was actually saying how it's so embarrassing to use coupons and i'm like honey i just saved myself two dollars on this laundry detergent great deal um also i had to pick up some canned black beans because i'm trying to eat more beans to get my iron up next i picked up my favorite chipotle tabasco and then i found these authentic wonton strips in the same aisle that the chipotle tabasco was and i've been looking for wonton strips at fries couldn't find them anywhere so i went ahead and picked this up and then i got the idea to make a huge salad and then mellows has all of those lentils left over that she didn't turn into meatballs so she's going to try to make hamburgers so tell me why this was literally the only gourmet or burger seasoning that i could find at walmart i don't know where else it would be but i went down the seasoning aisle or the spices and this is the only one that i found i could have sworn growing up that my mom would just buy those like little bags full of hamburger seasoning but i don't know so i picked this up and then i also picked up some breadcrumbs for her she was looking for whole wheat but they literally had italian garlic and then plain so i got that that is all i picked up at walmart i'm i'm probably kind of sweating um but i have to go back to the store because i don't have anything to make my salad as far as greens so maybe i'll get some dark leafy greens kale i have spinach because I can't just eat like regular lettuce that doesn't have a lot of iron in it. So I'm gonna look for some dark greens. And then I also bought a vitamin C supplement so that my body can absorb the iron from those foods better. So there's just a lot of stuff that I'm thinking about that's going on up here. I will check in with you guys later. What are you making over there? I'm trying to make a new recipe with uh, these leftover lentils, kind of like what I made last week, which were the meatballs. 
Don't but you think you should have ground them up first? No, I'm gonna put it in here. I okay, okay, I'm, okay. You're the chef. You're the chef. This is error. I messed up last time. I'm not sharing the recipe with you guys right now because I don't know if this is going to work. Kind of looks like the the same things that you would put in um, meatloaf. Yes. Breadcrumbs. Kind of. Yeah. Eggs. It kind of has that. This is um, Worcestershire sauce, or as our dad likes to call it, salsa peri, because that's all I knew it was growing up. And then finally somebody's like, that's actually Worcestershire sauce, or Worcestershire. Worcestershire. How do you even pronounce that? Worcestershire. I think they pronounce it correctly in Shrek. I picked up just some green leaf lettuce, some kale, and what Melissa, or I like to think is juice. It's not. These are Adwala's juice smoothies. Yeah, the camera doesn't even want to focus on it because it knows I'm wrong. <laughs> but they're buy one for $2.99, get a second one free. So it's only $1.50 for each, which I think is a great deal. Really? Really? So you will say uh, that when I buy LaCroix, it's a bad no, deal? No, hunty. That's fake water. Go away. <laughs> A whiplash. I don't want to ruin the tires. Hello vlog, it is Thursday and as you can tell, Melos is driving. I'm driving. We are headed to, of course, Starbies. And then we have our waters in the back. Also this new little shade covering that I bought for the car because since our windows are not tinted, the inside of our car is just, it becomes so hot if we're parked where there's no shade. And this has actually done a pretty good job at keeping the inside cool. And it was only seven bucks at Wally, so I think it was a good investment. I'm on, you're on. Will you please get some shots of me doing the water? I, I'm doing it right now. Are you gonna get just my back or like various <laughs> shots? <laughs> this is an inside joke because Melissa got mad at me last week because I didn't get enough shots of her. Oh my water. gosh. Don't put that in the vlog. So we are home from the grocery store. I didn't do a haul because I mainly just picked up the ingredients to make the potato casserole on Sunday and then chips and things like that for the party. But I don't know if you can tell what I'm making by these ingredients. If you guessed avocado toast, you're right. I don't think I've ever actually made avocado toast, but it's like really trendy. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to make it. So I'm just gonna wing it. So let's see how this turns out. Mello said that she wants her egg sunny side up, which I don't really know what that means. I only like scrambled eggs or hard boiled eggs. So I'm going to attempt to make a sunny side up egg right now. How do you make a sunny side up egg? Here's what I found on the web for how do you make a sunny side up egg. Okay, here we go. I have the egg cooked, the bread is toasted, now time to assemble. Punky just made me some delicious looking avocado toast. I'm really hungry right now, so I'm excited to dig in. Also, I keep doing this thing where I put my LaCroix in the freezer and they freeze and I have to defrost them. So I think it's defrosted. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm trying to do a heart sign over Ashley Graham. Nailed it.
we just got home from the library and I am still working on editing Punk's makeup look that we filmed uh, I think like two weeks ago. I've had an idea but I've been trying to look for the right filters and plugins and I found some but they're not exactly what I want so I've been playing around with all of them. I think I've spent maybe an hour editing five seconds of video because I, I don't know, I'm just kind of having a hard time with it. But we came home to a package from Aveda. I actually love their products, especially their hair care. My hair looks terrible right now. I think mostly because it's so dry and I also don't use conditioner. This is pretty heavy. Gosh, I'm excited. So this says, life isn't perfect, but your hair can be. They've rounded up their top Aveda hairstyling essentials. Ooh, nice. No wonder this is so heavy. Damage remedy for daily hair repair. Oh, this is definitely what I would need. Smooth infusion, style prep smoother, defends against humidity. Uh, it's not really humid here, but I know a few people that have issues with even just the slightest bit of humidity. Okay, next up we have a hand relief moisturizing cream. TBH, I don't like any kind of hand cream or lotion on my body at all, so my skin is always extremely excessively dry, but I might give this a try. Next up we have the thickening tonic. This is supposed to instantly thicken your hair for a fuller style. This might work well for punk too. I don't really use hairspray all that much because I don't find that I need to keep my hair in any kind of style, but I think this has worked a few times that I've used it. This is Be Curly. It's a curl enhancer. I think this might work good for Maria because she likes to curl her hair, so maybe I'll give that to her. Okay, next up we have a styling foam. Honestly, I feel like I'm not gonna get a lot of use out of these products, but I feel like I know people that will, so I will probably give them to some of the people I know at work. I don't really style my hair at all. This is actually an oil, and you can use it in the bath, rub it on your scalp. It's supposed to um, nourish and restore moisture to your skin. So this is a must for me, although I will say I don't take a lot of baths, especially right now because it's so warm outside. But that might be nice during the winter. Plus it probably smells amazing. Oh yes, this smells like every Aveda product. I actually have a few products in my shower right now that I still use that I received a very long time ago. They're scrubs. One of them is a cleansing oil and this smells just like it. So good. Hello vlog, it's Saturday. So I found a few awesome belts. These are each only $2.99. Actually only $2 I think today. Nice. I'm just gonna layer all of them like this. Yes, yes. I also found this awesome bag. I've been looking for something like this for a very long time since I left one in LA that I found at a Goodwill and didn't purchase it. But this one is pretty busted. I don't know. It's not that busted. For 250. So we are home. We hit up two Goodwills. And honestly, I saw stuff that I saw when we were there at the last Saturday sale. So. I don't know what that says if they're not really selling through a ton of stuff, but I only found a pair of denim shorts, which I don't need denim shorts, but still <laughs> for three bucks. Since I didn't find anything to wear to the pool party tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make this tube top that I've been talking about for two weeks now. So I'm gonna use this flat sheet that I found at the thrift store, and I'm going to go ahead and use the part that's already finished as the top so I don't have to do more work than necessary. I'm gonna do some measuring, lay this down, and then my sewing machine's in that closet, pull it out, and get to work. Okay, so now this is gonna be my front, and I want to make two long kind of straps, that's probably not the right word, that tie in the back with some excess. So, 
I think I'm gonna start and make them this wide and then kind of taper them off so they're not the same length. Let's see how we're gonna put that together. <laughs> Okay, so quick change of plans. I have instead cut out two of the same size triangle shaped panels. I'm going to sew the outside, both the outsides together, kind of like a pillowcase and pull it out so that there's no wrong side ever showing when I tie it in a knot um, to close the top. So Melissa gave me the idea. It was honestly better than my idea, so. Thank you. Update, I finished the top. I did not end up finishing and hemming the bottom of it because I actually like the way that it looks rolled under and I thought that maybe, depending on what bottoms I'm wearing, I could roll it up or roll it down. So these are the bottoms I plan on wearing tomorrow. So I wanted it to be a little bit more cropped, but with another pair of shorts that I own, this length would be way too cropped. So I'm not gonna finish it. This is kind of like a prototype. I think it turned out well. It'll be good to wear tomorrow for our um, pool day and whatever, but I might try making another one, an improved 2.0 version of this. I will let you guys know when and if I do that, but it only took me like an hour, right, or so? Yeah. To get it all figured out? Yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to do my makeup really quickly so we can go and take some photos for the thumbnail tomorrow since we have to go and start making our casserole and be over at Ruin Fair's place tomorrow at two. We wanna make sure everything is done today so we don't have to spend hours at Starbucks. I've actually already put on the Perfecting Skin Tint in dark, which I don't really feel like looks very dark or really has done much for my skin and also i noticed something when i use this recently is that when i put this around my eyes it kind of burns so i don't know what is causing that i'm going to go back in with sunshine skin tint and honey put a little bit of that around my eyes down my nose and just work this in with my fingers. This is probably my all-time favorite foundation, skin tint, tinted moisturizer, whatever you wanna call it. If you guys watched my Glossier reviews, you know that I'm not a huge fan of the stretch concealer. That's probably because I love the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. A little bit of this goes a very long way. I think that it kind of takes on the color of my skin. It looks really light right now, but it's easy to work in. It stays in place and it has the tact that I'm looking for. So next up, I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm gonna put this on my eyelids and then I'm going to use this J-Cat um, Sparkling Powder. I'm not sure what this color is called. I would suggest putting on glitter over the sink or somewhere where you don't mind it getting all over the floor because this tends to go everywhere. Next up, I'm going to be using cloud paint in Dusk and in Haze. I'm going to start with Dusk and then layer Haze on top of it. A little bit goes a very long way. I would suggest not ever stamping this on your face because I feel like it leaves that little circular imprint on your cheek and then sometimes you can't buff it out and it looks kind of funny. I usually go in with a hairspray and run that through my eyebrows. I'm actually gonna try the Aveda air control. This is only a light hold though, so we will see. I usually use the Tresemme. Whoa, the fumes from that. It smells good. I feel like since my eyebrows are not very full, they're pretty sparse, that just a quick run of the spoolie with some hairspray through them gives them so much more dimension than what they look like regularly on their own. I'm going to put on just a tiny bit of highlighter because I feel like I already have a lot going on. And I'm using Lush's Feeling Younger 
And to finish the look off, I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss on. This is my favorite lip gloss, probably one of my favorites of all time in the color Timeless by Julep. I've had this for years. I love it. It smells so good and it's just a nude color that takes on the color of your natural lips if you don't want to add anything extra because I'm kind of already extra with all of this glitter. So we are up on top of the library, our favorite parking lot to take some pictures. It's still 108 degrees but it doesn't feel that bad in the shade but if we move into the sun <laughs> this really sparkles but also I can't see anything. Yeah it looks good. We're at the dollar store. They have a bunch of stuff for Punk's favorite holiday. Also, Jim's birthday, right? Jim's birthday, but only because we don't know his real birthday. Since yeah. Since it was the 4th of July. It's so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is too big on my head, it's which means it will fit mine. you. So we actually came here for something. We need to get a casserole dish for tomorrow that we can just dispose of. We don't like to make a really big mess at Ruin Fair's house, so we're going to prep the casserole at home and then take it over there and just pop it in the oven. So it is the end of the night. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next week. Make sure to leave a comment down below and we will see you guys next time. Bye! In all seriousness, thank you guys so much for watching and spending another week with us. We hope you enjoy and we will see you soon. Bye!